And then a young lady asked the senator this question. But, uh, you would be divided between two loyalties in, uh, to your church and to your state if you, if you were to be elected president. The uh, question is whether I think that uh, be, if I were elected president, I would be divided between two loyalties, my church and my state. Uh, let me just say that uh, I would not. I have sworn to uphold the Constitution in the 14 years I've been in Congress, in the years I was in the service. The Constitution provides in the First Amendment that Congress shall make no laws abridging the freedom of religion. I must say I believe in it. I think it's the only way that this country can go ahead. Many countries do not believe in it. Many countries have unity between church and state. I would be completely opposed to it. And I say that whether I'm elected president or whether I continue as a senator or whether I'm a citizen. That is my view based on a long experience. So in answer to your question, I would fulfill my oath of office, as I have done for 14 years in the Congress. There is no article of my faith that would in any way inhibit. I think it encourages the meeting of my oath of office. And whether you vote for me or not, because of my competence to be president, I am sure that here in this state of West Virginia, that no one believes that I'd be a candidate for the presidency if I didn't think I could meet my oath of office. Secondly, Article 6 of the Constitution says there shall be no religious test for office. That's what was written in the Constitution. Jefferson, Washington, and all the rest. They said every American will have an opportunity. Now, you cannot tell me that the day I was born, it was said I could never run for president because I wouldn't meet my oath of office. I came to the state of West Virginia, which has fewer numbers of my co-religionists than any state in the Union. I would not have come here if I didn't feel that I was going to get complete opportunity to run for office as a fellow American in this state. I would not run for it if in any way I didn't feel that I could do the job. So I come here today saying that I think that this is an issue with Trump. And there it is. Senator Kennedy answering the questions that are on your mind. Answers that should lead you to decide that here is the man to support for president. It's up to you. Vote Kennedy, May 10th.